guys, welcome to our C Hop. In today's video, I want to make with you such a kind of uh, project. It's a mixed media panel. It's my dream to go to the seashore <laughs> to have some rest. And uh, I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my channel and leave some comments below this video to let me know that you like it or not or you have some questions. Thank you. Have a nice watching. to protect the surface of uh, the paper with soft matte gel uh, so I will do it with a sponge to get some texture with these small you know holes <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to add some white gesso to some areas of my project just to make it a little bit lighter Step, I want to darken the edges and to add uh, some more stamping with I cover inks, Grand Espresso and the Pebble Beach. to add some texture paste. I have this one, it's rather old, uh, so I mixed some of it with water. Now just applying it through the stencil. And while my texture paste uh, is wet, I'm going to apply Lindy's embossing powder. It is called Chalk It Up, a very beautiful one really. Uh, and I just apply it not everywhere, just in that way here and there. Now I'm going to add some color to the background just to match uh, it with my very beautiful uh, flowers and I have chosen this uh, pink but a little bit vintage color, very beautiful, it is called Badesh's Blush and uh, I'm going to mix it with water just on the surface to make it lighter. Ok, 
Okay, now we want to decorate some paper elements. I made them with cotton dyes uh, from watercolor paper. And now I'm going to wet them with water. Okay, just a little bit. Uh, and add some shimmer and some tone with the lindy sprays. This time I take Cafe Ole. It is a kind of beige. Now next some white, flat Fabio, uh, serious sidewalk chalk. And uh, some uh, sprays from Glitzy Series with gold spray and uh, silver shimmer. These colors. Now I want to add some shades to my clay elements. For this purpose I have chosen rose gold wax and uh, I will need some uh, wet napkins. So what I'm going to do is to add this wax with a brush. In this way. I'm trying to fill uh, all gaps. And to remove the excess from the top. Also, I want to add some shade of uh, grayish blue. For this purpose, I'm going to use Whale Watch Blue. Uh, and to use a brush. And also to remove spray from the top. Okay, now I want to collect all the elements together on the base and to glue them. I always begin from the biggest element, so it is a window today uh, with the sea landscape. So I'll put it and then grow the composition just around it.
last step I will add some smaller uh, details, pearls and seashells with a glue gun. I want to add some highlights with white acrylic uh, so I use uh, vivid white color and a dry brush I'm adding the smallest details, uh, micro beads uh, and glitter on gloss gel or gloss medium. So I'm taking a little bit of medium and a little bit of different materials and put them, add them here and there. And in this jar I have white uh, gesso mixed with water. So always when I want to make some splashes I cover the picture or the photo just not to make splashes on the people's faces, <laughs> you know. And make splashes. My project is totally ready and I hope you like it.